Hello, UCAR. Peter Christensen here, coming to you from the CEO's desk. We're going to talk a little code of ethics this time, specifically about standards of practice 1-7 and 1-8, and some additions to those standards of practice in the past couple of years. Basically, they have to do with requesting from the buyer or seller's agent uh, confirmation as to whether or not the offer or counter offer has been presented to the client. So, you know, the age old uh, issue of submitting an offer and not hearing anything and not knowing, has it been submitted? Has it not? It was a lost. Have they decided and requesting some information and uh, not hearing anything back. Very frustrating situation. And one we've harped on for years saying, please, please, please respond to those. Communication makes both sides look better, more professional, makes the whole industry look better. But uh, sometimes uh, you didn't get any response. And so now that request has a little teeth behind it, right? Because now it's a code of ethics obligation, which basically says, when you receive a written request from the buyer's brokerage or the listing brokerage asking for a, uh, a confirmation that the offer or counter offer has been presented, there's now an obligation to provide a written affirmation as soon as practical. Now, the affirmation can be yes, they got it. It doesn't have to be what their, what their decision is. It doesn't even have to be from the buyer or seller. This comes from the brokerage. But in essence, it's that information. Yes, it was presented. Or the seller has waived their right to, or, or, or desire for any more offers. You know, whatever the case may be, you can now get that information. And uh, if you don't get it, uh, if the other side w refuses to provide any response, it can be a code of ethics violation. So uh, a little higher obligation now, whereas there really wasn't one before. So hopefully that helps um, make everyone look a little better. So thanks for tuning in today. A um, little code of ethics. We throw that in every once in a while. It's good to refresh our, uh, our understanding of the code. And please comment if you have any suggestions for future videos. And again, thanks for tuning in.